Hello, welcome back. My name is Dr. Promise Sefuka, consultant gynecologist, Shape Healthcare Specialist Medical Center in Accra. I'm glad to welcome you back to Period Health. Good. Today we are talking about what are some of the things that can go wrong as part of your handling or not handling of your menstruation well, which can give you medical problems. The commonest one to talk about is genital tract infections. Genital tract infections are talking about infections that affect the vagina, the mouth of the womb, the inside of the womb, and it can go all the way up to damage the tubes. And then that becomes a disaster because it becomes difficult for the tubes to work well when you are grown and you're trying to have babies. How do these infections come about? Naturally, the vagina has a lot of bacteria, naturally. And there are different types of bacteria who are working there to keep the vagina protected. So, for us to get infection there, it means one group of the bacteria is growing much more than the others. So that balance becomes disturbed. And how would you know that you have that infection? I'll tell you that. How can you behave during your menses and it will cause such an infection? The commonest thing is if you keep your pad there for too long. So on the average, if you are just a light bleeder, you need like two parts in a day. One in the morning, then one in the evening when you have your shower or after school. If you bleed heavy and it gets soaked often, you change it as often as it gets soaked. Because once the blood comes out and it stays on the pad, that blood becomes a very nutritious place for bacteria to grow. So you don't want to keep the blood soaked pad there for too long. Not up to six hours if it is soaked. Otherwise, you put it there in the morning, by evening, it's out when you take your shower. So keeping your pad there for too long can be a source of giving you a bad infection, which can affect the vagina, affect the tip of the womb, affect the inside of the womb, and go all the way to damage your tubes. Now, how would you know you are picking these infections? Sometimes you have an abnormal discharge fluid from the vagina which can be yellowish, creamish, occasionally it will be whitish or like old milk. Sometimes it will be itchy, sometimes it doesn't itch. Sometimes it will have a bad smell. All these are warning that there is a problem coming up here. Sometimes the infections will not give you any of those symptoms, but you may have pain in your lower abdomen. These may be signs that something abnormal is happening. And when you see these changes, you don't sit on it. You have to report it. Because these infections need to be treated as early as possible. Otherwise, the infections will move up, damage the inside of the womb, damage the tubes. The tubes become blocked and you cannot get pregnant in the future. You take your shower regularly change your pad or have your bath regularly change your pad as frequently as twice a day if you're a regular bleeder if you are too heavy then as soon as it is soaked you change it not every vaginal discharge means an infection the normal vaginal discharge will be clear or just a little cloudy if it is too much to wet your underpants it is not normal if it is colored, it is not normal. If it has an abnormal smell, it is not normal. Apart from clear to cloudy, not so much to wet your pant, not offensive, non itchy. Anything apart from this is abnormal and has to be reported to the hospital. So, in order to prevent these infections, one of the key things also is change your underwear. You don't just change the pad and put the new pad in the old pants you change your pants as you change the pad 
And then one important warning is that do not put any soap or any detergent in the vagina. No, no, no. The vagina has a way of cleaning itself. All you need is just clear water to wash the blood. That's all. Don't put any soap, detergent, uh, parazon, omo, liquid soap. Nothing should go there. It just causes more harm. Because the soap you put there goes to kill the normal bacteria which are protecting the place. And you will rather get a bad infection which can linger on throughout your life. Because infections from poorly managed menstrual hygiene can be very costly. So remember, things you do during your menstrual period can give you health or can harm your health. Get it right, do it right. Keep it clean, change your pack often, change your pants, no soap, no detergent in washing the vagina. Thank you so much for watching Period Health. We'll be back next time. Bye-bye.